All right, so get ready with me to do absolutely nothing. I just had a shower and my skin is so dry. So I'm gonna start off with Glow Recipes toner. So I just had a shower, as I said, and my skin is like so dry. I actually really love that toner because the, t the, the smell is a little get to, but that is like pore tightening. Like it's got PHA, BHA, hydrating pore, uh, pore tight toner. I was always nervous about pore, uh, pore toner. Always nervous about toners because I'm like, they will dry the shit out of your skin. But that one, it's expensive. Don't get me wrong. But this is, uh, it's really good. Basically is what I'm getting at. I don't know if you saw, I don't think you, I don't think I even showed what I just used. I really rub it in because around my nose it's really dry. So yeah, my face will go a little bit red. I know I like to rub it in. Some people don't like to rub it in as much as I do. So this is obviously part of Katie Fang's skincare, which I bought most things. I didn't buy everything because it's a lot. It's really expensive. Um, Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. Uh, it says pineapple ceramide pro vitamin B5. Now I know pro or uh, B5 vitamins are really good for your skin. So, yeah, and excuse my hair, I just got those showers, I said. My ends are so dry, I need to chop all this off. But this is a house coat robe from House of Jude. Um, they're having a liquidation sale, and I want to buy a few more things. This is a small one, so I know I've gained weight, but I don't care. But uh, it has like a... Oops. has a tie thing, but I like it. They're on for like $35 right now from like $150. I just realized I've been using like serum and serum, but it's what Katie Fang does, so I'm gonna do it anyways. So this is the Jumbo uh, Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5. I don't know if she uses the Buffet or Buffet Serum, but this one I use because I have the niacinamide powder and the Hyaluronic Acid um, Pure Powder by The Ordinary. And this goes with both. And so I rotate between like Katie Fang's skincare routine. And then the next week I'll do um, my niacinamide powder. And then every other day I'll do the vitamin C powder. I know it's confusing. I'll show you that at some point. So I do... This is a bigger dropper, so I do like... Half. That's a lot. That's okay. I really like to rub this one in too, down my neck. Also, give your skincare in between products, however many products you use, time to soak in, which is what I'm doing. So now she goes in with like a drunk elephant, um, Lala whipped. I do have it, but it's a small one. Lala Retro Whipped Cream, which I absolutely love, but I couldn't justify the like $85 for the pump full size. So I'm like, you know, I'll get a small one, a mini. I know it's like $21. It's probably this is not probably not worth it, but I'm like, whatever. It is super hydrating. It's maybe hard to see because the lighting here. It is. I'm trying to savor it because I do like it, and I would purchase the full size, but right now it's just like i have other things to use up and i want to use those and then run out of everything and then figure out what cream for the winter i'm gonna buy because if you're a dry skin girly like me you know your skin suffers and we don't have a water softener here in the house yet so yeah um we are putting one in um but my skin has suffered since moving here but that's fine and so is my hair it's dry, it's broken, and I'm just over it. I do use Olaplex, but I think it's just the hard water. That's okay. So I will go through quickly the winter moisturizers that I use that I have all year round because my skin just is dry. So obviously the La Roche Posay Ombre Release. This is the ordinary natural moisturizing factors plus photo phyto. Uh, ceramides. I don't know how to say that, but this is like $25, $26, so it's expensive, but it works with all the ordinary products, and I do like to use the vitamin C, so you have to be careful of products you use with vitamin C, or you will burn your skin, which I have done, 
because you don't know these ones. These type of products have everything mixed up for you. It's done. Whereas the Ordinary is like single products like hyaluronic acid and B vitamins or just niacinamide or just... So you have to really know what you're mixing before you do anything like that. Also, also the Ordinary, this is like a new gel one for, for oily skin girlies, but I got it anyways because it's summer. I like to use a lighter moisturizer if I am going out because I don't want to sweat off my moisturizer sometimes, I just look greasy and oily, so I don't use my winter moisturizer in the summer per se, unless I'm going to bed, then I load up on my winter moisturizer and then let it soak in an hour before I go to bed and I go to bed and my skin is so good in the morning. So this is a natural factors, uh, moisturizing, natural moisturizing factors beta glu glucan. Don't ask me what I, this does, but it's a gel, so I do like it. So she uses this, um, I think... Yeah, she uses the Ordinary, then she'll go in with the serum, and then this, right? So, I'm going to do things a little differently. And I recently did a big Sephora thing buy to get some of these products, the Glow Recipe, um, and a bunch of the serum and other things. So, I did get a It Cosmetics uh, sample thing, Confidence in an eye cream, which I do like eye creams. So, I am going to use that. I do like that. My eyelids can get, like, under eyes can get really dry. I do like that. Super creamy. There's no real color payoff to it. It's just like a moisturizing eye cream. I also have this Saturday Skin Avocado Date Seed. Avocado Plus Date Seed. This came in an Ipsy thing, I think. I, it says a brightening eye cream. Don't really know what it does. That's fine. So I use the eye cream, and now, what moisturizer am I gonna go for? I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do the gel, and then I'm gonna actually put this on top. I was doing this, and then like right before I go to bed, doing this one. I just got this one, which is why it's full. And this one I've had it for a while. I need to roll up my sleeves a bit there. Okay, so we're gonna do. I can show you. It's a gel. Oops, it's getting a little goopy. So I love to pile on the moisture moisturizers heading into the colder months, as you can tell. So I think the final step in this, and I'm just kind of chatting along here, is the uh, Drunk Elephant Lala Whipped Moisturizer. Since I did the other one, I'm not going to use a whole lot because I'm trying to savor this, but I am going to put it on. Did I seriously get it in my hair? I did. That's okay. I know at 33, my skin's pretty good. I will say that. But I've always had a thing for taking care of my skin after work or like no makeup when sleeping. So I think that's helped. Since I'm home, I'm just going to finish off with a Summer Fridays lip balm, lip butter balm in, I don't know, oh, vanilla beige. Yep, that's it. So that's it, my skin looks pretty good and ready to go. It's uh, about 5 o'clock, so dinner soon. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with another one of these.